The following presentation is based on the writings of Dr. Kathy E. Langston, a veterinary specialist on internal medicine. Today we are going to discuss the nutritional management of chronic kidney disease in dogs and cats. Dietary management is one of the most effective methods of slowing the progression of chronic kidney disease. Renal diets can double the survival time of many pets with chronic renal failure and dramatically decrease the need for hospitalization. Let us discuss the dietary components of a good renal diet. Renal diets have less protein than standard adult maintenance diets. The protein that is present in the food must be easily used by the body. The best protein is from animal sources such as eggs, milk, beef, or chicken, and not from vegetable sources such as tofu. The minimum protein content shown on labels of pet food containers cannot be directly compared, because those values are affected by the amount of moisture in the diet and by the caloric content, which varies widely. Labels also do not indicate the biologic value of proteins, which is a measure of how fully the protein can be used by the body. Animal proteins have higher biologic value than vegetable proteins, and egg whites have the highest biologic value. Now, let's talk about phosphate. Phosphate restriction is an important part of formulating a renal diet. Protein contains phosphate, so protein restriction also reduces phosphate. Fatty acids are also an important component of a kidney diet. Most commercial kidney diets are supplemented with omega-3 fatty acids, which have a beneficial effect on kidney function. How to reduce sodium from the diet If one of the most common questions that pet owners ask their veterinarian, especially is the pet has been diagnosed with cardiac disease and concurrent renal disease. Although sodium restriction is commonly recommended for people with chronic kidney disease, the role of salt in chronic kidney disease in dogs and cats is not completely understood. Excessive salt supplementation or restriction may be detrimental, the moderate salt restriction is common in most kidney diets. Now, let us talk about potassium. Because the kidneys are unable to conserve potassium, low blood levels of potassium may develop in dogs and cats with chronic renal failure. Kidney diets, especially for cats, are frequently supplemented with potassium to account for the extra urinary losses. In some patients, particularly those on dialysis and those receiving medications that may increase blood potassium can develop a condition known as hyperkalemia while using a kidney diet. The last important component of a renal diet is vitamins. The B vitamins are water-soluble, so they can be lost in the urine. Kidney diets typically contain increased levels of B vitamins compared with maintenance diets. Now, let us talk about when a kidney diet is indicated to be used in your pet. Kidney diets are generally recommended if the blood creatinine concentration is greater than 2.0 mg per deciliters in dogs or 2.8 mg per deciliters in cats. Dogs and cats with acute kidney failure may need more protein than most kidney diets provide. At this moment we want to encourage you to like our video and subscribe to Veterinary Channel. By doing that you are helping us to train the veterinarians of the future.